In this lesson, I want to teach you something really cool. We're going to use Power Query to go to the internet, pick up some data, change this data and play with it, and then have it automatically update in Excel. How we do this? Let's start. First of all, I thought that we can look at cryptocurrencies because these days everybody is into cryptocurrencies. So I found a website which is giving me the prices of cryptocurrencies. It also gives me the volume, the percentage changes in one hour, 24 hours and seven days. So this is like a table, right? So first of all, I'm just going to copy the URL. I go back to my Excel under data. I have this here tab, which is get and transform data. If you don't have it, it is because you don't have Excel 2016 or newer. You can do something. There is a free add on, which is called Power Query. If you add this add on, you will get it and then you can do the same thing. So we're going to go here and do get data from other source and you have here from web. Here we have to put the URL, so I'm pasting this. After Excel did its magic, I can look at web view to check whether it's the right page. So it is indeed the right page. Then I can go to table view and check what tables are there. So there is this table, which is not my table. And there is table zero, which you see here, it is my table. It says that the data has been truncated due to size limit. But as you can see, this is Bitcoin. I have the market cap and all this. Now, if you know this, this table on this website has a problem. I have a lot of columns with null, you see, and I need to deal with this. If I don't have any problem with the table, I can just load it. Otherwise, I click on transform data. So here I have my data. I have a rank here. I don't need it. So I can select it, right click and do remove. And then what I could do is press on shift and then I go to the right till I reach the seven days. I just click on it. So I've selected all my columns. And if you see here, you remember, we have a lot of columns that are useless. I don't want them. So now if I right click and I do remove other columns, I have deleted all the columns that I don't want. One thing I want to do is I want to put some symbols next to the one hour percentage change. If it goes up, I want to put a smiley face. If it goes down, I want to put a crying face. So I'm just going to go to add columns and here we're going to have conditional column. If you see here, I have an if statement. So what is the column name? I'm going to call it emoji. In this if statement, I want to take the one hour change and then there is an operator. So I'm going to say if it's greater than or equal than zero, we need an emoji here. I could go to a website which is called getemoji.com and I have a lesson on this and I can pick up the emojis that I want. I can search for them. So for now, we're just going to copy paste this. We go back. We just put it paste. After doing this, I need the sad emoji. So you could paste the sad emoji in else. Now, if you have multiple clauses, you can just add clauses and you'll have else if. So that's fine. We don't need it here. We are just going to go back to our website. Let's put this emoji, for example, copy. We go back to our Excel. We do paste here. And then we get a new column with emojis. So let's do file, close and load. It will save it. So here is my data. If you see, it came into a table. So I can do anything I want with the table. And here is my emoji column. And the beauty of this is that I can make it refresh. So to refresh manually, you can just go here and press refresh. So it will get the data again. The other thing you could do is right click here and you have this refresh, same one. Now, if you wanted to refresh at a periodic interval or whenever you open the workbook, you can click here, connection properties, and here you have refresh every and you select, or you have refresh data when 
opening the file. So if you select this, then the file will refresh automatically. This is how you can just import data from the web with Power Query in Excel, and then you can do anything you want, graphs, modifications, and so on. So please let me know what kind of fun examples or work examples you have in the comment section, and please like and subscribe to the channel.